Hi guys, ni macheroni ni masiari ni madekwana at whatever time you're watching this video, thank you for tuning in. So today I've decided that I want to share on how to sell on take a lot. Yes, so people have been asking me and I've been getting people who want me to help them set up their take a lot account, which for me I feel it's very very easy and anyone can sell on take a lot. So anyone means that we Either you have a business or you don't have a business, you're selling as an individual, they do allow you to do that. So I do have a bit of notes here that I'm going to be sharing with you. And if there is a need for me to do a demonstration with my own portal, I'll do that and I'll share with you guys. So yeah, let's get started. So Take A Lot is a it's an online marketplace. So it's uh, this whole e-commerce that has been running around and people are talking about selling online and e-commerce. So Take A Lot is actually basically just um, a marketplace, a platform where people log into their portal, into the website, the app or the website and buy from different sellers and Take A Lot delivers to your house. So I know that a lot of people trust take a lot than buying from individual suppliers or looking around. You know, take a lot also saves time because you shop around different stores. So when I say different stores, I mean by when you look at take a lot, you see that there is um, raw aromatics, there is um, La Vive, there is Chanel, there's whatever store that you might name your store. Um, and you can buy from there and maybe from raw aromatics you buy a candle from la vive you buy um a backpack from whatever you buy a pot so you see that you can buy a lot of things different things at once and then they get delivered at, at, in one delivery at once also so yeah so take out has been making life easier for most of the people um especially through uh doing every day so Take a lot, it's really um, a very good platform for anyone who wants to sell anything. Either you're drop shipping, you're manufacturing, you're supplying, you're buying from a dev vendor, you're going and source what anything you can sell on Take a lot. But also, I uh, know that um, for some of the products that you can sell on Take a lot, you need a certificate. Uh, one, it's uh, your medical supplies, you're gonna need a certificate to sell that. Um, also your electronics you need a certificate to sell that oh also for with food you need to put expiry dates and they are very strict on that one also so I just want to take through the whole registration pro process and if the video becomes too long I will do a part two with onboarding and a part three with also getting familiar with uh, the seller portal the seller portal is once now you've become a seller on take a lot so the first step is for you to find um the take a lot seller portal registration link you can just google that and say how to sell on take a lot or say take a lot seller portal and now you register registration only needs you your id number your proof of uh, your residence, where you stay, um, your cell phone, your contact details, your email. Doesn't matter your email, it's a Gmail, email, it's a Gmail account or it's um, a company account. Anyone is allowed to sell. So hence, you have to do that. After registration, they will send you a confirmation email for you to confirm your email. And then you have to wait for them to approve. For instance, maybe uh, you want to sell candles and they're going to ask you what kind of what, what product are you selling and a few things on what about, about the product and then they'll get back with, to you within 48 hours, 72 hours, but they don't take long. I don't think they take more than three to four days and they will tell, let you know if you have been approved or not. I've never heard of someone who's not been approved from people that I know who have asked me on how to sell on take a lot so after you've been approved then that's where you go through the onboarding process the onboarding process it's actually a process that shows you 
uh, through the portal how it works. So how it works is that you are gonna go on that your seller portal. You set up everything. You set up your um, your products. Okay, what your products are. So on the onboarding, now they are teaching you on putting your products, putting your prices, uh, how you package, how you deliver, how you book your de your, your deliveries, all those things that you need as a seller for you to fulfill an order. So as a new seller, they will take you through the whole onboarding process. So the onboarding process starts with um, explaining on how you add products on the store, on the take a lot portal or app. So how you, how you add your products, you actually going to take pictures of your products. I'm taking pictures of your products. They're going to tell you how it should be. White, rigid background, no shadows no distractions uh, it should be a single product for a primary product and it should put the description the description should be visible and um what else on the product yeah if the image should be clear visible show all the details the descriptions rigid background white rigid background no shadows and no distractions so that's how your product should be that's the first thing and um, the other thing they help you um, they help you place the product in the specified or in the right category so for instance I am selling candles so for my candles I'll put them in home decor and um, and uh, candles I don't know the main category what it is I think it's home and decor or home and then home and decor and then candles so you have to put your product in the right category because uh, they calculate their percentage charges per category because you can't sell furniture and my candle on the same percentage pricing because furniture is like maybe they're selling a couch a couch is bigger than my candle which is my maybe like a 300 mil uh, gram candle and so you have to put it in the right category that's the first thing and it also the picture how the picture looks like they're going to show you samples and take you through that whole picture thing also the other thing on pictures the quality of the picture they will tell you it has to be 5,000 times uh, 4,000 or not a maximum less than it should be less than 10 MB the quality of the picture so it's almost the uh, same as um, taking professional pictures and then now you have to make the size equal to what they need can either be that equal or below their specifications but it shouldn't be more than that the second thing um, that I take you through is uh, packaging. So packaging will take a lot, has got a lot of rules or regulations that you have to meet. So if you are selling something that is um, fragile, then it has to be bubble wrapped, it has to be, uh, you, it has to meet a requirement that it has to be thrown down from waist height downwards and it shouldn't break. So hence I said bubble wrap and if you want to put them in boxes also you can put in a box and then that's how you have to package your, your, your items and then you also have to put barcodes. So the issue of barcoding is that every item should be barcoded. It doesn't matter if you don't have barcodes of your own for your products because take a lot will allocate barcodes for your products according to each product and what it is. So after that, then you have to, this, they're going to show you how you, how you going to add your products, um, how you're going to ship your products, how you package your products according to their specification. So the other thing, um, before booking, they tell you on how you have to, uh, before booking, your pro, after booking your products actually, there is a lot of paperwork that you have to do. Your, you have to do admin by yourself also. Which um, on admin there is 
um, barcodes which are printed on a 45 UP page. There is a um, shipping label that has to be printed on um, shipping label are printed on a 6 UP page and then you've got your booking confirmation that shows that you have been booked for this day and also you've got your shipping note which uh, is more like your way bill which has the products that are inside the, the box and also what do you have yes those are the papers that you need to take along every time you have a booking so booking your first delivery it has to be a replenishment of stock which means that you have to take a whole lot of stock maybe you can depending on how much stock you want to take they always say it has to be a 70 30 split which is more like you can take seven products and then three products to both uh, dcs dc are distribution centers so take a look it's got a lot of jargons hey also and taking them to different dcs means that you're taking it to De to cape town and to johannesburg and johannesburg being the bigger one that means you have to take a 70 percent and cape town being the smaller one you take a 30 percent so the other thing is um um okay i think i have to show you a whole dashboard on how you book your deal your, your you book your your stock and also take you up on the onboarding and trying to explain that in more details with the onboarding so yeah just let's watch